Today is April the 24th, 2013, and I'm going to show you something that that may help others. This is the, my wonderful old HP 8903A audio analyzer. It got to where uh, it didn't want to, uh, the output didn't want to come up. There was no voltage output here. Everything else works perfectly, but there was no voltage output. Well, I traced the problem down, and I'm going to show you here. I've already fixed it, but I decided to pull it back apart just for a second, just to show you what the problem was. The problem was on this fifth board in right here. I, I replaced this uh, output board and it didn't help. One, two, three, four, five. This board right here, I'm going to pull it out. It'll take both hands. Let me pull it out here. Okay, this is the board right here. Uh, these, these little yellow things are relays. They're called NF2EB-5V. And what I found out is that with the board in, I could take something as uh, light as this little plastic uh, diddle stick here and, and start tapping on it. I was tapping it from the top and it would start working. And that's why I made this thing work for the uh, last couple of months. Well, anyway, when I finally got it out and I looked it up, it was, uh, and, I, and I, I just got one in it today. I labeled this, this one as intermittent. 42413 and it was this guy right here I thought it was this one so you can tell this one is a, uh, a 3032A there's a 3032A there's a 3032A this one actually came from here see this is a 2033A but apparently this is the part that mattered maybe that's a manufacturer date I don't know but initially I thought it was this one but it actually ended up being this one right here so that fixed it fixed it fixed it I am so pleased now will that fix yours I don't know but I do know from working on from being a tech all of my life over 50 years now that uh, oftentimes things have common problems and uh, if you have one of these beauties and you can't get any output well you can first start by very gently tapping these that's what I did that won't hurt anything and if it works then voila and you, you can uh, google these things right here and got it right off of eBay $14 free shipping so hallelujah it fixed it and I want to show you something else about this thing let me put it back together and get it up on the shelf yeah what else I wanted to show you here is um, by coincidence some time ago I bought a um, this HP 353A patch panel. I've uh, used this thing a number of times, but um, by coincidence, it has worked out extremely well. Uh, matched up with this 8903. What I the reason I started using it is because the uh, the programs that uh, we use to control this. Uh, remotely through the PC, the ones by Pete Millet, which are very nice, but they have some issues that I can't resolve, and one of them is the generation, the gen level. And what I needed was a way to attenuate it. So I started using uh, this device right here. I got this thing off of eBay, I think for about 20 bucks and free shipping a year or so ago. Now they are asking a little bit more for them, but it's a HP 353A patch panel. Let me show you the schematic of it. And the only part that I'm using is this top part. See, it says from oscillator. There's the attenuator. Here's the impedance matching transformers. And there's its output. Now, the, uh, this is not meant to be used with this uh, 8903, but it actually does a good job. It's like I said, we're just using this part. We're not even using this part down here. So see, I'm using it where it says from oscillator and output. Right there, there's the oscillator right there. And uh, there's the output. So we're just using this half. This other half we're not even using. Uh, and it works. It works really good. So when I put the output of the uh, 8903 into it right here, I got some shorter and uh, better quality cables, some Pomona cables, and, and I haven't uh, labeled them yet. But anyway, it's going into the input, you know, with the color coded yet. And uh, this goes over to my uh, little distribution panel. Look at the output. 1.000 same down there very good distortion 0 0.01 percent so this little panel right here is actually quite a nice addition to this and again you're only using uh, half of it you can get voltage gain because it has transformers in it watch when I switch from 600 to 900 watch the output 
See, I can get some gain. I can attenuate it one dB at a time here. Whatever, put it back at 600, 10 dB at a time, 20 dB. Really works nice. And I'll we'll start attenuating it. Uh, 10 dB, 20 dB, of course, 10 dB at a time is quite a bit. But anyway, uh, a nice little addition to uh, the 8903. So just thought I'd just thought I'd throw that in. But the the point of it was is uh, is to repair for the 8903. So I hope this uh, helps someone if they have one and it won't quite work right and uh, it maybe it'll, it'll save another one of these uh, needle instruments.